All right, what's up, y'all? It is December 29th here at the gym. Uh, still, still sick from the last video I uploaded. It's, uh, um, I deadlifted. I mean, I squatted and benched. Now we're deadlifting. I figure I might as well just try and upload another video. I'll try to get this out probably, probably tonight, tomorrow maybe, Saturday maybe, or even Sunday. Um, but yeah, man. I don't know. Like part of me wants to just be smart and stay home and heal fully and come back to the gym, but then part of me feels guilty from taking the days off. So I'm like at a standstill here. I hit up Mikey already and talked to him about, you know, um, what his thoughts were, and uh, he was just like, "Man, don't don't force it, you know, but just do what you can." And so, to me, you know, I don't want to come and just put on like a, you know, get in a mediocre training session. I still kind of want to, you know, see what we can see what we can do, but at the same time, I don't want to overdo it. So. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and go ahead and deadlift. Uh, we got my bro here too, he's gonna be joining me. Um, but yeah, this week is supposed to be week three, RP seven, seven eight. And the last time we deadlifted, I ended up pulling um, 534. So, um, you know, if I wasn't sick and you know, things were uh, it was better situation, you know, I think we'd be able to pull some pretty decent today uh, maybe an old PR my old PR that was the plan going into this week but now that I'm all sick and shit it's like we just gotta see what we can do today and be good with that so we're gonna try and work up to at least 500 hopefully you know we're feeling good um, I also weighed myself today too like yeah, um, I was in like the 305, 308 body weight range, and now I'm 290, 295. It's just, just kind of rough. Uh, I'm still trying to eat and everything, but food is just not sitting. Um, I still got like sore throat. I'm still a little bit congested. The headaches are kind of gone. My head doesn't feel too stuffy, but I'm still... You know, congested as you can tell by my voice and stuff. But, um, yeah, so, you know, try to do what we can today. This will be the last deadlift of 2023. So, see what we can pull today. And uh, hopefully, some, some decent to set us up next week. You know, I was planning a PR because next week will be the last week of the training block. And Mikey had RPE 9 on schedule. On the, on the program and so I was low-key looking forward to that at the beginning of this block and then I got sick and it's just like man I don't know if I'm gonna be able to PR which kind of sucks but end of the day I think the goal is to just be healthy and not hurt especially because we compete in you know three weeks so after this week's done and you know and we're we'll be two weeks out so yeah let's get to this pulling Let's go. Bum ba da bum 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 bum. Thank you. 
The little mic thing go. Sit down so long. Let's go, y'all. Big air brace, stand up. All right. Got three, three semi, three semi phone. Come on, Vita. Push to your legs, stand up straight. Come on, big air. Easy. Come on. Push, big air and push. Up. Uh, I don't know, we feel pretty good, man. Stand up. Push to your feet. Come on. Up. Got it. Up. Okay, watch out, boy. Big air. Stand up. Push to your heels. Stand up. Turn that shit up. Oh, my God. 
All right, we just hit um, 562, and we're sick, man. Like, still not feeling 100%, and we were able to hit. That was my PR, um, the last singles block we had, which was six, four months ago. So hitting that today, man, felt really good. Um, I honestly wasn't planning to hit it. I was thinking maybe like 540 on the lower end, maybe. But, yeah. Um, yeah, shit just happens just fucking at the right time, and, uh, I got ticked off enough, I think, to help me move that way, because if not, I probably would have hit something, like, I was thinking maybe, like, 540, 550, so, but, uh, man, yeah, with that being said, it just, my brother was talking to his, uh, live stream not too long ago, and it's just, you know, <laughs> Kind of fuel some of the. Huh? Do I need it? No, I'm de I'm going back now. I'm done. But yeah, it just kind of feel feel shit. Um, yeah, man. I think that's part of the biggest reason why I joined powerlifting and like wanted to pursue it is because the fitness industry is just toxic, bro. Like, then you have people like that look like me or my brother. You know. People just look down on you and they want to give you advice that they don't even follow. Like, run this much miles and, and eat like a, a, a rabbit so you can lose this much weight, you know. But ever since we started powerlifting, man, it's just been like, people just been supportive, you know. It's the healthier way to lift because you're actually practicing proper form technique. And you're, the game, the goal is to be able to do this for a long period of time. So, you know. Uh, yeah, anyone who's like going into like a, a fitness journey, man, just just do it for yourself. Don't get involved with all the uh, the toxicity that that's in this industry, man. You just gotta do it for yourself because yeah, there's a lot of uh, people in here who in this industry who don't want you to succeed just because you look a certain way. You know, they try to downplay certain things or or. Uh, write you off like you ain't serious man so i've seen it happen like my brother is uh, uh since we've been in this journey since 2021 we ran into people who have just just because of the way we look didn't value what we could bring to the table what he could bring to the table you know and so going through it over and over again we've seen it happen more than once you know had people that we used to um train with you know and then you know from previous you know recent experiences being at the high school and stuff uh, people just don't think that we're about you know what we're doing but every day we show up we're here we're posting on our social media you know we're we're making progress and and it's just it, it's old like it gets old like people trying to uh, downplay everything we do man so just stick to your you know if you're trying to pursue anything in fitness bro go for it man don't let nobody stop you like uh, yeah, it, this shit is just so frustrating. I think that's what kind of fueled today's lift. And and in honesty, you know, some people operate that way when they're lifting, and some people don't. Some people like to be chill and stuff. But I noticed that I have a lot of aggression, and sometimes that shit helps me lift. So, like I said, today I wasn't planning on pulling what we pulled today, but you know, yeah. Just, just stupid shit, bro. People like to do stupid shit, and it just aggravates the fuck out of me. And in a good way, it kind of helps today's lift. So, yeah, man. If you join this industry, bro, just worry about yourself. Keep your head down. Do, do you reach your goals and keep on pushing, man? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these back downs. I think I got like a three by five or something like that, and then uh, got a couple accessories, and then we're out of here, man. Yeah. That's the biggest thing I've learned um, being in powerlifting is that um, everybody's different, you know. Everybody has different leverages. Everybody has a different technique, you know. And I enjoy it. I really like that because it's relatable. Like, you know, you think of everybody in the world. We're all different, you know. There's not one person that's the same as the next, you know. So 
to try and uh, teach people that there's only one way to do some, you know, it's just rubs me the wrong way. So, you know, yeah. Um, if you're looking into getting into lifting, man, I think powerlifting is a good way to go. You find yourself a good coach who can properly teach you how to lift, man. It's gonna, you know, um, yeah, it's just gonna be good for you in the long run. So, yeah, we're gonna get these back downs in and get up out of here. <laughs> Sigh. <sighs>